Hi guys, welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to design this propeller using Autodesk Fusion 360. Here are the dimensions of the propeller and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. All the dimensions are not mentioned here. As the video progresses, I will discuss them all. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of our new videos. Now without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to file, select new design. The unit we are going to use in this tutorial is centimeter. First create a new sketch on the right plane. Go to straight line command. Select the first point as the origin and give it a length of 0.75 cm and an angle of 45 degree. Under create, go to slot and select 3 point arc slot. Select the first point as the origin and the second point here. Give a dia of 0.75 for the circles of the slot. Now go to sketch dimensions, select this construction arc and give it a radius of 1 cm. Finish sketch. Now create a new offset plane. At a distance of 2 cm from the right plane. Select this plane and create a new sketch on it. Go to straight line command. Select the first point on the left of the origin here. Give it an angle of 20 degree and length of 1.5 cm. Go to sketch dimension. Select this center and this point and give a vertical distance of 0.15 cm. Repeat the same and give a horizontal distance of 0.75 cm. Now under create, go to slot and select center to center slot. Select these two endpoints as the center of the slots and give a diameter of 0.05 cm for the circle of the slot. Finish sketch. Now create an offset plane at a distance of 8 cm from the same right plane. Select this one and create a new sketch on it. Go to straight line command. Select the first point horizontally aligned with the origin here and give a length of 0.6 cm. Under create, go to slot and select center to center slot. Select these endpoints as the center of the slots and give a dia of 0.01 cm. Here are all the profiles are ready. Now create a new sketch. This time select the front plane. Turn on the 3D sketch option and go to spline and select feet point spline. Select these quadrants of our slots from the three sketches respectively. Repeat the same on the other side of the slots. But be careful while selecting them. Press enter. Now click on this spline, select this control line and click on horizontal or vertical constraint. So this line will be horizontal. Finish sketch. Now under create, go to loft. Select these three profiles respectively.
and for the guide rails select these two splines one after another click ok here is our one blade of the propeller ready now create a new sketch on the top plane go to center dia circle select the center as the origin and give it a dia of 0.5 cm draw another circle from the same origin and give a dia of 1.25 cm finish sketch go to extrude select this profile direction two sides in this side extrude it up to 0.75 cm and in the bottom side up to 0.25 cm operation new body click okay click on top plane under modify go to move command move object bodies select this cylinder and the blade now deselect the cylinder so the blade can be moved with respect to the cylinder drag it to the right side up to a distance of 0.25 cm now under create go to pattern and select circular pattern pattern type bodies and for the object select this blade for axis select this circle number of items 2 click okay now under modify go to fillet select these circular edges and fillet them up to a radius of 0.05 cm now we need to join them so go to combine select all three bodies operation type join click okay here is our propeller ready press a to go to appearance i'm going to use this paint metallic yellow color on it here is our propeller ready you can also use the split face option to create these textures thank you guys for watching this video if you like this one hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you in the next video till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye